Today we're going to be talking about power chords. Now a power chord is a chord that consists of a root and a fifth and any octave thereof and that's it. A standard chord might have a third in it and it'll dictate whether the chord itself is major or minor. But with a power chord, again, just the root and the fifth, and you can add in any octave of either one of those that you'd like. Now the vagueness and the simplicity of the power chord lends itself to be very useful in genres such as rock, metal, punk. It allows guitarists to play with a lot of power, play with a lot of speed, and most importantly, they don't have to worry about major and minor fingering differences. Now there are several ways to position your fingers to play these chords. I wanna talk about a few right here that I personally enjoy. First one I'm gonna call the standard position for a power chord. Basically, I'm gonna take my pointer finger and I'm gonna put it on my root note, which in this case is G, and then I'm gonna follow that up with my ring finger on the fifth, which is gonna be up a string and then over two frets. So I'm gonna go like so. And this last part is optional, but I like to take my pinky and I tuck it right up under that ring finger and it's gonna rest on that G, which is the octave, with basically this part of your pointer finger, you're gonna mute these top three strings, just kind of resting them on there. So you'll fret, 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 and then right in here, you're just gonna rest across the high strings. Now this next one involves you moving your hands up the strings a little bit, because you have to have access to the fifth that's below your root note. So basically, we're playing that same position that we were just playing, and instead of just having it like this, we're gonna drop that pointer finger and bar over the E string and the A string. So you're playing basically your fifth, which is gonna be G, and then your root, which is gonna be C. Then you're playing another fifth G and another root C. Play that together. All right, so this next position involves moving up the strings one more time. Pointer finger is gonna go on the D string. Your ring finger is gonna go on the G string. And then our pinky finger normally would get tucked up underneath that ring finger. Because of the way the guitar is tuned, we have to slide that over if we wanna get that octave. So we just slide it over one fret. My middle finger, I normally rest on these two strings here the uh, E string and the A string, just to keep them muted. And then again, this meat behind the knuckle here will be muting this top E string. All right, and then this last position that I'm gonna share with you involves moving up one last time up the strings. You're gonna rest your pointer finger on the G string, and then I like to bar with my pinky, but either way is fine. You can stretch if you really want to, but I like to bar with my pinky there. Normally, we're just a couple frets away with our fingering, this one we're just gonna stretch over again uh, because of the way the guitar is tuned. Again, pointer finger and then your pinky barred across those two. Alrighty guys, so as always, I hope you learned something. If you liked the video, please like the video, subscribe for future content, and thank you for watching. Have a good day.